My name is Matthew Tissa, and I'm gonna be going over the process of creating this character. A lot of this, I decided to just wing it, explore the tools and features of this program. A lot of this is gonna be me fiddling. I use a lot of the curve snap tool to create a lot of these uh, expressions and features and things like that. Uh, I decided to just extract the eyelids, made it a little easier. And this was me trying to get the eyeballs to look nice and I decided to just import a uh, eyeball that I made in Blender because there was no point in fighting it in uh, ZBrush. Man, I. This is probably one of the areas that I was most happy with because I've been for the longest time trying to create these uh, elf ears and this was my first, I think, successful attempt. I decided to give her a little bit of an open mouth look. I mean, I didn't create a whole mouth pocket or anything like that to set up for animation and rigging and things like that. I just wanted to give her a little bit of an expression. Yeah, I fiddled with this neck forever. I decided to go a little bit more anatomical with this part of the body, trying to figure out where the muscles and tendons and everything else connect. Give her some bony landmarks. Give her some shoulders, she needed them. I decided to try and extract the hair, didn't work out, created that weird pocket that you saw. And then I went back to my tried and true method of throw a sphere in, move it around until it looks good. The hair is where I spent the most time. I really wanted to go for a uh, chunky cartoony style with this hair and Seeing as I've never done something like carved a huge shape into looking like hair. But this was, this was definitely my biggest challenge. I use a lot of damn standard and the uh, trim dynamic brush to create a lot of, to block out a lot of the shapes here. This is where I decide, hmm, I do not want to spend a whole bunch more time fiddling with this hairline. So I gave her some bangs to hide it. Because, you know, why sculpt something, model something, when you can just hide it? This is me starting to get into actually shaping this hair. It was a royal pain in the butt, but at the same time, I really enjoyed doing it. I wanted to get these bangs looking a little bit more 
presentable. Yeah, I keep trying to cut the hair, make it nice and straight. It does not end up looking good, so I go back to the original method I had and pull it down a little bit. This is where I decide to give her some actual shoulders and arms to help complete the anatomy down there. Yeah, I soloed the hair just to just to really be able to focus on it. As you see, I try to cut in some shapes, try to break up this big chunk of hair, and it just does not, does not work out. So I go back to carving, making it look nice. Yeah, this is where I decide, well, if I can't carve into it, make it look good, I will add something there to break up the shape. So I add these little bits of hair, trying to get it to match the style I've got going on. And I think it turns out pretty good. Definitely did help break it up. Gave it a little more interest. Still deciding whether or not to give her a hair part. But uh, I keep playing with these bangs. Something keeps looking wrong. Yeah, now I decide to try and create a little more visual interest on this character other than her hair and her face. So I'm going to give her a little bit of uh, accessories. I don't know why. I like the choker. It's just a nice touch in my mind. But uh, yeah. Messing with the Z Modeler brush. This was probably where I spent the most time on and ended up cutting a lot out because I am not proficient with the Z Modeler brush. I've had trouble with that thing. Oh god. Here's me moving on to creating eyelashes with the Z Modeler. This is an area where I should have taken it into another program to create these because as you're gonna see I fiddled with these eyelashes for a good half hour 45 minutes these these eyelashes were awful you're gonna see that I'm just gonna end up deleting them and going to a tried and true method yeah here we go use the curve snap tool to play with it create the eyelashes use a little bit of trim dynamic to shape it up and this is where i masked it and used the move tool because me moving it with the move brush would have taken way too long decided to give her a little bit of a dress give her a little more visual interest I didn't spend a lot of time on this in fact this was probably the fastest part of this entire sculpt I spent a little I think too much time trying to mess with those straps of this dress but uh yeah 
that's the end of the video and this character i uh, hope you all enjoyed it if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below and uh i don't know maybe i'll start doing more of these 3d videos and maybe adding some voiceover